The winner of the subscriber voting special, welcome to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. I was a little bit concerned about this in the first place, especially after spending as much time as I did with Persona 4, but in the end I've actually spent a bit of time with this game and a bit of time with these characters, and I've grown to separate it from Persona 4 and appreciate it on its own right, and I'm actually starting to be rather fond of the game. But that said, FES comes with not only the journey, which was the original Persona 3, but also the answer, which is an additional chapter at uh, taking place after the journey. I've been asked whether or not I'll be playing the answer, and to be honest, I don't know. Though I have seen, I've played a little bit and I've seen a fair amount of the journey, I still don't know exactly what I'm capable of and what I'm getting myself into. So I'll leave judgment on whether or not I'll do the answer until later. For now, we'll start up the journey. And it'll take like 10 minutes to load. There we go. Config, I don't think there's much anything in config that I really need to worry about. Vibration turn that crap right off. Uh, no, 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 okay. Sounds good. Start this crap up. Now, of course, being a Shin Megami Tensei game, it's going to be kind of difficult. I don't know exactly uh, what I'm in for, as I've said. Oh, if you've played Persona 3, they give you a brief rundown of what's been added in FES. I personally only really have experience with FES, so I'm not sure what exactly the differences are, even though they explain them to you. For all the sake of all of you, I'll go ahead and let y'all see. This is another interesting thing that uh, happens. Once again, I've only ever played FES, so I can't exactly load my old save data. Now, once again, being a Megami Tensei game, this is... This can get kind of hard, and this can get kind of jerkish. I don't want to wuss out and play on easy, but... Again, I don't know exactly what I'm in for. I'd like to play through on normal. We'll see what happens, and if a push comes to shove and it ends up being too much, I'll change it back over to easy and just catch right up to where I was before so y'all don't miss anything. So don't worry about that. 
For at least for the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and say normal and just pray I don't die. Immediately. And terribly. Sure thing. You're late. I've been waiting a long time for you. Now if you want to proceed, please sign your name there. It's a contract. Don't worry. All it says is that you'll accept full responsibility for your actions. You know, the usual stuff. This game, much like Persona 4, has a nameless protagonist. There is no official name for him. I've 
heard tale of a movie, I think, coming out soon that uh, may reveal something of a canon name. At least at the moment, though, I'm going to be going with his name in the manga. If this is changed later in the anime, oh well. We're going to be doing exactly the same as we did in Persona 4, indeed. Arisato. Minato. We're going to be doing just the same that we did in Persona 4. Oddly enough, there's an interesting parallel there where something came out not long after, revealing somewhat of a canon name for the main character of Persona 4, but we use the manga name there, and just the same, I'm doing it here. So without further ado, let us proceed. No one can escape time. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears and cover your eyes. And so it begins. Who's there? I didn't think you'd arrive so late. Well, I had an extra hour of travel there, but, uh... My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? That's like almost a JoJo pose, lady. I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hey! Hmm... Important question, but uh... I don't know, you know what, I'm pretty alright with things. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Well, you seem cheerful enough. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Wait, if my things were already brought here, then how were you that surprised by the fact that I showed up? Maybe some things just kind of fly right under the radar. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. Oh yeah, make sure you don't lose your key or you'll never hear the end of it. So, any questions? It's also in an easily memorable location for me playing the game. Hmm... I am kind of curious why I had to sign that contract. You know what, I'm pretty alright with that though, I more just want to know what's up with that kid. I wonder if I'm going to see him again. What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. Hmm. Um, can I ask you something? 
On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Yeah, I have no idea what you. I have no idea what you're talking about. That was a perfectly average evening for me. Just the coffins and the blood and everything. I thought that's just what happened at midnight. You know what I. Never mind. It seems like you're all right. We're freaking me not over Pete's sake. We don't give a crap about that. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Maybe. Guess I'll be a nice guy. I think that door is spring-loaded. All I have to do guy? is touch the doorknob and it kind of flies open. Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. It's getting late, so... Are you ready to go? Not even gonna give me a day off, man. I'm still moving in. Welcome to Gekkon High School. Hope you like it. <laughs> 